Good morning, everyone. Thank you guys for joining me. It's April 5th, Friday already. Wow. So yeah, welcome. Good morning. And if you guys, I don't know if you were all there yesterday, but last night was a great show with Ismael Perez. So if you didn't see it, you want to check it out. It is all available on this channel. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and like and share. Thank you guys so much. And yes, there were some technical issues in the beginning <laughs> of my own fault. Yes. Uh, who is saying that? Dawn out there. Yep. Um, but I did it myself. It wasn't anything. <laughs> it was another cord issue of my own. But thank you guys for being very patient. I appreciate it. So today we're going to get into it. It's a little bit of a different spin on the financial show. So we are going to talk a little bit about the news as well, because there's some P. Diddy news last, uh, I think it was last night when I was doing the show. But anyways, so P. Diddy back in the spotlight. So they found him in uh, Miami actually golfing. All right. So, <laughs> so, but other things that have developed are the list, the flight list, the connection. So all that's going to be revealed very shortly. So we're going to pull cards on that. We're going to pull cards on the week ahead. The 5th to the 12th, I believe, is next Friday. So let's start there, and then we're going to get into financials. We're also going to take a look into uh, other truthers out there that have some predictions. We're all doing awesome, and we're all doing our different things. We all have different views, right? So we all think differently. We all have a different take on the financial system. So with all due respect, of course, uh, definitely would never bash anybody for their own opinion. No way. So we're just going to take a look. It's just for fun. So we are going to pull some cards on a lot of their views and predictions and just kind of see like what the what Tara wants to share about it. You know, so we're open to all information. We're all trying to figure things out. We're all trying to see where are we headed as a collective because the financial system is huge. That is our, you know, that's we're learning to create our own abundance, but I mean, it's something that we all have in common and that's why we're all thinking about it and we're trying to figure things out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at different opinions. So start thinking now who you would like to check out, um, different people in the community that have their different views. We'll check them out. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep it all very positive and always in love and light as well. So we're going to do that, but we're also going to have some questions that I got through emails. We're going to take a look at the uh, DJT stock as well as other things and gold and XRP and see if we're still in that positive timeline for that XRP bull run for June. So we're going to take a look into that because we saw it. We keep seeing it in the cards, but as we're approaching this eclipse, how is everything still playing out? Are we still seeing it in the cards? So we're going to do that as well. But hey, let's get started first on the P. Diddy stuff. We're going to just pull cards on the news. So the P. Diddy stuff, are we going to see an arrest? Because now we've got the bodyguard. The bodyguard was, uh, I think, I forget, it was someone who was interviewing him. But he was saying that, yes, he's going to take the stand. There's a lot of people, even politicians. So politicians, celebrities, all of it. So all of them connected to P. Diddy, all were at the parties, all very connected in the traffic ING stuff. So all that's coming to a head. We've got the eclipse on Monday. We've got a lot of reveals to come. I've got a lot of sage smoke in my face too. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can see me. But I've got the sage lit and it's on fire for this because this is heavy stuff. We, we're going to see a lot of things being revealed it's going to be dark, some of it, and some of it we know, but then there, I feel like there's a whole lot that we don't know. That's still, it's been hidden for so long, and it's probably even, it's probably a lot darker than what we've already figured out and have been shown. So let's take a look. Are we going to see an arrest? I'm thinking it, okay, I'll just be quiet. I'll let the cards, <laughs> I don't want to influence the cards. Are we going to see an arrest from the 5th of April to the 12th in any time span during this coming week? Are we going to see an arrest? Here we go. Page of Wands. So let me move my burning sage a little bit. 
So that is a yes, page of wands, okay? It is a younger individual. So it's someone that's not too old. So let's take a look. Let's see what comes out though. Let's see what else comes through. All right, the full card as well is a younger energy. Yeah, this sage is really burning. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Ten of Wands. So it is an, it's a huge yes. There is going to be somebody in custody being taken down. But I feel like they've already been gone, but we know this, you know, already taken out. But there's going to be an announcement of them being taken away. All right, so here we go. This is good. This is good for the people that are not awake to any of it, and they need to. This is going to be in their face. So I am getting a younger vibe, but I do think it has to do with the littles, of course. So it's connected to the P. Diddy stuff. The chariot. So the chariot is a card of, like, arrest or the, you know, the authoritatives coming in, taking them. Public, ten of cups. So it has to do with the littles for sure. It is, I feel, a politician. I was going to say that before I pulled cards. But yes, and connections with the celebrities, all of it. All of it's going to be coming out. And I feel like it is happening with, and don't hold me to it, but I feel, it's just what I feel based on my cards. I do feel it's going to happen between now and the 12th. I do. So let's see what else. Yeah, transformation will begin. Death card also endings okay so yeah we're gonna see all the dark and that's a scorpio card so we're gonna see all the darkness is gonna be in the spotlight we're gonna see it it's all gonna be shown for what it's been all these years so there you go that is for the week for the fifth to the twelfth yes it looks like we're gonna see some sort of an arrest all right so moving into the financial stuff here we go this will be fun though it's gonna be a lot of fun so throw your questions in the chat, whatever you have, even if it's on someone that you look up to and you've listened to, and we can see what their point of view is and pull cards on it. I think it's great. I think it's fun. So we can do that. And I'm going to start with what I have from emails. And if you hear that behind me, there's some honks going on. So that's confirmation that it is a good idea. <laughs> so here we go. First, first off, let's start here. Massive bull run for June. So we've got the eclipse coming, but is this still, is this still happening? This massive bull run for June, because this eclipse is it going to change the timeline of things, or is everything going to run the way that we were seeing it in the cards before? So let's see. Massive bull run for June. Yes or no? I'm talking XRP. I'm talking gold and silver. I'm talking all of it. Let's just see. Temperance. Beautiful. Okay, so yes. We do see it on a positive timeline still. We have the four of pentacles. So hold on to your assets. Hold on. Basically, is what that's saying. Four of uh, pentacles. He's very protective of what he's got. So he's protective of his gold, his silver, his his assets, so the things that he's been holding value to. Three of Wands, the vision, looking ahead, going in a new direction. So yes, this is a big yes. We're going to still see that massive bull run for June, according to the spread here. Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles means there's already process. It's already building. It's already processing, and, and it's coming. So that's good. It's in the works. We've got the Hierophant as well. The Hierophant is definitely a huge, so that could be an authoritative card. That could be a change of leadership changing the system, which I do see that here. So it's already in the works behind the scenes here. The Hierophant and Three of Pentacles are already working on this. It's already going down that route. So it's going to be a massive bull run for June still here in the positive timeline for that Eclipse energy. Looking good. All right. So moving forward, so I'm going to share screen right now. This is going to be fun. So you guys all know Mel Carmine. So <laughs> we're going to share screen. He recently just did an interview with 107. Here we go. So check it out. Go to Rumble. It's on Rumble. It's a, it's a really good interview. Um, 
of course, they have different beliefs and different views, and that's totally fine. All respect, of course, because we all have different views. We just do. Okay, so, but we're going to pull cards. We are going to pull cards. So, 107 was talking about the Jubilee and many other things. So, the Trump Sara, yes, Connie. <laughs> so, the QFS system as a whole, all of it. So, it's much different than Mel Carmen. And and Mel is more in alignment with most of us. Okay, so we do believe in all of this. Will it be to the same extent as what we've been told all this time? Maybe not. Maybe it'll be a little bit different. But foreign currency was even an issue, not an issue, but a topic on this interview as well. So let's just pull cards. So a lot of you know, Juan O'Savin's point of views. He's been on many, many shows. Very, very popular guy. So for those of you that don't know, but let's take a look at his predictions. Are his predictions accurate? And this is with all due respect. We're just playing cards and trying to see if there is an energy that's showing as a yes that his predictions are are on that timeline, the positive timeline that we're entering, especially with this eclipse. So let's take a look. 107, are his predictions in alignment with the new timeline, the new world? Here we go. We have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups brings information. So yes, he is bringing us information. I'm going to stop sharing screen on that. Um, let's see. So the Knight of Cups. So he has good intentions. Here we go. We do have the Seven of Swords here. And we do have the Ten of Swords. Okay. So there's good intention behind it. There's nothing malicious or nothing like that. Okay. So the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. That is showing us the words and the thoughts. Okay. So what he's on to, it may not be in alignment with the new world, the new timeline that is coming. But it doesn't discredit his information because that's his point of view. We all have our own right. But it is showing that it's not quite in alignment with where the new world is going. Okay. So, yes, Nancy Herbert, that is exactly who we're pulling on right now. Yes. Um, but that's what we're getting. So, yes, he's a messenger. He's he's coming from a good place in his heart. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, though, is showing that it is not going in the positive timeline for the new world. Okay. So... What I'd like you guys to do is throw others in the chat, whoever you'd like me to check on. It's totally fine, whoever you'd like. But let's also pull up another question that I got through email, because these are all popular. Everyone's throwing emails at me to pull cards on, on different individuals' predictions. So that's what we're doing today. Now, also... So the Federal Reserve is what we're going to pull on next while you guys bring up some questions in the chat. <laughs> and I'm going to clear up the cards here. So this is the next question that came through. Does the U.S. Federal Reserve actually have the 81 tones of physical gold that it claims to have? So we're going to do that. Here we go. The U.S. Federal Reserve... Do they actually have the physical gold that it claim that they claim to have? Yes or no? We have the King of Swords. So that is a huge yes, but let's see what else we get. We do have the Justice card. We have the Hierophant. So they do, they definitely do what they claim. We have the Page of Pentacles. And the nine of pentacles. So this is looking beautiful for humanity here. We're talking gold. So gold is, the energy of gold is now in this spread for sure. But it's showing us abundance, sovereignty, independence, all of it. So there is a lot more gold than they, you know, than, than we've ever known. It's, it's, it's there for all of us. Like there's so much gold, so much silver as well. So it kind of took a different spin here towards the end here. But it is showing us abundance for all, sovereignty for all. So that's awesome. So let's skip ahead here. We're going to get rid of that one, take that one down. So I'm going to take a look in the chat now, and we're going to move forward. 
So let's see. I see some others in there. So it would be fun to check on Bow Pony because I know there's a lot of a lot of us that I haven't watched in maybe a couple of years. But let's take a look and see for Bow Pony. Let's see. So the information bring, bringing forward for Bow Pony is it moving towards the positive timeline? positive timeline meaning after the eclipse the new world the new system all of it so let's see let's see his direction bow pony here we go wow two of cups two of cups beautiful energy i like it now we got the knight of pentacles so he is a messenger bringing love and truth and light so he has great intention very positive beautiful intentions but we are getting a straight up yes. This, these are beautiful cards. So two in a row. Now we have the moon card. So there might be some things that are a little bit, maybe I'm thinking more like dates of what I'm getting. So maybe does he throw out dates? I haven't watched in a while. Um, but if he does throw out dates, that could be what's not so accurate. And that's totally fine. None of us are getting dates right anyway. And then we have the world card. And then we have the queen of wands. So yeah. Most of the information is a big yes, and it is with great intention and love and light. So he's coming from a great place. Got the world card and the queen of wands. So yeah, he is thinking big and he is thinking towards the correct timeline. Because as I don't know if all of you saw the show last night, but it is I'm in alignment with what Ishmael was saying. Yes, we are moving forward in separate timelines. Timelines are going to to shift, but also split. So some will stay on a different timeline and, and still believe certain things, but then others are going to use discernment, positivity, love, and go forward towards the new earth and the new timeline. So that's what we're looking at with the financial system. So it looks to me like Bo Pony is on the right track towards the right timeline, the positive timeline, okay, for the new earth. So that looks very good. So I see some of you throwing some other names out there. So yeah, let's take a look. Um, I believe this is a popular one for sure. Mr. Cliff High. Yeah, let's take a look. So I'm going to change to the gold deck for him. So let's take a look for Cliff High. Energy check. So let's see. Positive timeline or different timeline completely. Let's just see. And this is all with... All with love coming from me, so there's no disrespect here. Here we go. We have the Five of Cups. So it kind of looks to me like he's in a transition of letting go of some things and going towards a new a new direction. Let's see. Now, I have not watched him in quite a while. I'd say about two years for most of these, except for the Young Mystic family. Sometimes I, I dabble in there over there. <laughs> um, but I haven't seen anything with him lately. Let's see. So five of cups, seven of swords. There's a little bit of that. Um, 107 got that card too, seven of swords. So they're coming with good intentions. Of course, there's nothing malicious going on or trying to hurt humanity or any way with their messages. It's, it's beautiful here. So five of cups. So he's letting go of old beliefs, things that maybe he believed before. Okay, but now he's, he's shifting. So that's good. There's a shift in perspective. Seven of Swords also. There's an annoying noise behind me. I hope you guys don't hear that. <laughs> but anyway, the Seven of Swords, he's moving things around. So I'm feeling like his words and his thoughts, he's shifting. He's thinking differently with his perspectives. The High Priestess, so he's coming to more balance. So maybe there's some reevaluation there, I feel, for him. So yeah, I mean... So it's showing that some of the information is that seven of swords, like Juan was getting too. So a bit off the in the old timeline, but he is. It looks like he's changing perspective and coming to a balanced, a balanced phase to where he would enter the positive timeline, the new timeline. So let's take a look. We do have transformation. Wow. Okay. So that confirms that he's going through a transformation right now about the whole thing looking at it in a different light okay so he's i feel like yeah he's transforming into the positive good timeline now so looking pretty cool that was really good i like the confirmation of the transformation card coming out scorpio death card 
because that's exactly what that five of cups was giving you that sense of like letting go of old thinking you know so very good thank you connie for that now let's see what else we have out there we're running on 20 minutes we're gonna go for another 20 minutes and then uh, cut it out but here we go let's see what else is out there saw some more that were fun Um, let me see this. I like this one, Fit for Life. It's a little bit off topic. Sorry, guys. So after the eighth, will the sun, moon, and solar system astrology truth be revealed? Yes. So this is my take on it. I definitely think it will be because there's a lot of things that are overplayed. There are things that are negative, that there's a negative approach in within astrology. There is. But there's also, uh, in the new timeline, Astrology is going to be different. There's going to be a lot revealed. We already know the calendar is all messed up. There are some things in astrology that I don't agree with that I think are messed up, truly. And I think those will be revealed. Um, it does have to do with the signs, but it also, because we do have another sign that's not ever included. But Vedic astrology, I do resonate with that one a lot more. So I think that Vedic and a lot of the things with the solar system, yeah, the sun and moon, we were talking about this a little bit last night, but there, the two suns, I think, are going to be visible at some point. So, yes, your, your answer is a yes, but I will do a quick little poll on it and just see. Will the sun, moon, and solar system astrology truth be revealed after the 8th? Here we go. Oh, we got the strength card of the lion, the Leo energy. So that is a yes for sure. So just like we were just talking about. But very good question. I like that. That's awesome. Um, let's see. So this is one that I always get asked about. So Phil, let's take a look on Phil. We're going to pull some cards. So is he entering into the new timeline as the new financial system, the new world timeline? Let's take a look. We have the emperor. So let's see. That is my Mr. T card. Okay. So let's see. Our next card, though, is the devil card. So then we got the moon card. All right. So we have the emperor. We have the devil. We have the moon. So with the emperor, there's great power. That's an Aries card. It is a great card, but next to the devil card kind of downplays the emperor a little bit. Because what's happening now is yes, there is good. There is some goodness with the intel coming in, with the information, yes. With the devil card, I think, and I'm just saying, I think that's ego. I do. And then I think the moon card. So the ego, the moon card is confusion and illusion. Do I think he's purposely trying to persuade people the wrong way and confuse them to create an illusion? Not entirely. But I do think that there is a little bit of a business move in there that is inspiring a little bit of that to happen. So there, it's based on egos. When someone is led by their ego, they are acting out of character of their true essence. So I do think that that happens. So is he moving towards the positive new earth, new timeline? Based on this, based on these cards, I think that there would need to be a shift in perspectives and, and motives and all of that. Um, so I would probably say no at this time. And that's at this time. Tarot is in the moment. Tarot is when you're pulling on it. So I would say not at this time. But we're going to move forward and see what else you have in the chat. All right. So moving forward... Linda Parker, is Cliff right that XRP will make people inordinately wealthy that it jumps and then crashes, so we need to get in and out? Okay, so thank you for bringing this to my attention. So let's take a look. Taking a look, let's see. Great question. Wow. Ace of Wands, way to go. Okay. Let's see what else comes here. Knight of Swords would be taking that quick, swift action. Okay, so yes. I would say he's right. Yes. Nine of Cups. Yes. The Chariot. 
July card. Ooh, okay. So we're expecting the June bull run, but you know what? July could be hot too. It could be a transition of June and July, get in and get out kind of thing I'm getting. Is that correct? Let's ask. Is that correct? Ace of Swords. So based on this question, so yeah, this prediction, it looks like he is on the correct, that's going towards the correct timeline, positive timeline, these beautiful cards. So yes, but I do feel personally, my opinion, I do feel that this is true, but I do feel that it's it's going to be grander than that. Like, I feel like it's going to, it'll be an in and out type of thing, but I do think it'll return as well. I don't think it's just one and done and it's it. You know? So there you go. Now let's move forward. I like to keep rolling. <laughs> so I know it goes a little fast, but if it's too fast, just let me know. Anytime I can slow it down. But let's see what else we have here out there in the chat. Let's see. Thank you guys for your sweet comments. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see. Gene Decode. That's a good one, too. Thank you, Connie. So Gene Decode. I know. I've got a lot of emails about him, too. It's just there's and I have to address the email situation. OK, so a lot of you um, wonder, like, why don't you break me back? You know, it's hard. It's hard to write back everybody. There are literally hundreds that come in a day for me to ask hard certain things. So it's just hard. I can't write everyone back. So I do apologize. But Gene Deco, let's take a look. So moving towards the positive timeline for the financial system. Yes or no. Here we go. This is with all due respect for each and every one of them. Okay. So here we go. Six of Swords. Okay. Let's see what else. Queen of Cups. So it looks like he's moving in the right direction. We got the King of Wands. So he uses his discernment. You know, he's he's really good about that. That's what I have with the King of Wands. Queen of Cups. He has good intentions. There's nothing malicious here. We've got the Six of Swords, though. I like that card a lot because what he's doing here, and I don't, I haven't watched him in a long, I don't have time to watch anybody, honestly, but I know, like, I feel the sense, because I know my mom would listen to him. When I was still a pet groomer, I would go into where she was working, and uh, I'm like, oh, it's Gene Zico. <laughs> like, a lot of, a lot of the truthers then, so I do get a sense of his, his spirit. He's, he's not, he's not trying to direct people in a negative way. Six of Swords. So he's moving people out of the muck is what I'm getting. So he, he has great strength in what he's trying to tell people. So his information, it's, it's serving a good purpose for humanity. Six of Swords, trying to get them out of the muck and the dark thinking or negative thinking, moving them forward. So Queen of Cups, King of Wands. So he's got a lot of passion for this. He is giving it his all. So very good. I would say yes, he is moving in the positive direction for sure. Anyone that's um, looking out for humanity and has a good agenda, you know, and that's all that they're doing, there's passion there um, in regards to whatever they're they're doing in life, career-wise or podcasting, whatever it is. If you're a messenger, he's a messenger. So whenever you have great intention, of course, it's you're going to be fine. You're going to move right into the, the best timeline. So very good. So let's move forward here. We're gonna see see some more up here. Um, taking a look in the chat. You guys are funny. <laughs> um, let's see. Got a whiskey. I remember that. Yep. <laughs> Connie Phillips. Yep, that's a throwback. So and also I must bring it up. So this is a throwback to my sweet brother. He, he is sweet. Um, but as you know, we had a little thing about a, a year ago. So we have spoken once. <laughs> uh, we will speak again. But everything, you know, is good. It is his birthday today. So I want to say happy birthday to my brother, Jason. So I love him very much. And we're good. He's on his, you know, journey. I'm on my journey. Always, always love him. So that quote right there, got a whiskey, is that's his. That's all him right there. <laughs> so shout out to him. 
I don't hold grudges or anything. So whatever, you know, the past is the past. I move forward. I'm in a different timeline completely. So regarding that whole situation, he's my brother. I'll always love him. But that's that. You know what I mean? So moving on. <laughs> but I wanted to shout out and say happy birthday for sure. Um, but also, let's look in the chat. Let's get down to business here. We have more to pull on. Um, let's see. And there's also another, now my very good friend, and he's such a sweetheart, Lance Shuttler. So it is his birthday today, too. Um, very good friend. Always been there. Very, very honest person. Right up, straight up person. So shout out to him, too, just in case he sees this. <laughs> Um, let's see, Linda Parker, no, not true at all, not at all. Uh, Michael Jaco is not a clone, please, no. <laughs> no, I've actually met him, and I, I, I just know, because I just know, that's not true. So that's a bunch of bull that is circulating out there. Anything like that, that's just ridiculous. I am, no, not true. But thank you for addressing that because I, I would like to set that one straight because that's not true. Let's see what else is coming out here. What else is going on in the chat? Who else would you like to know about? I do have some other questions and banners to hold up. So let's get forward now. The Beyond prediction. So as you all know, um, I, I, was a, I was a part of the Beyond Mystic family. So... Still good, good terms and everything here. Um, but yeah, they have some really now. This was emails that were coming in, so hopefully I'm getting it right. But let me see here. Yeah, so multiple financial systems was the question regarding the prediction over there at uh Beyond Mystic. So let's take a look. Why not? I think it's a great point of view. This is a great perspective. So it's positive. It's a very positive perspective. Now, a lot of us, you know, in a lot of different ages, different, everyone's different on different journeys and different timelines, of course, right? Different beliefs. So it, it does kind of make sense that there could be multiple financial systems. Now, the older crowd, like, you know, the older ones, they're not going to like the digital stuff. They're just not, okay? So we have to keep, take that into consideration. And then we also have to take into the other age brackets that aren't, they don't want to learn the new stuff. You know, they just want things to be like, like the fixed signs, <laughs> all the fixed signs. They don't want the changes. Okay. So we have to take a look at all of that. It is a possibility. I do think this is a great view. And I do believe in the email, it said that this was JC's point of view. And I have to agree, I think this is very open-minded and it's a great possibility. So let's pull cards on it and see what my cards show, okay? So will multiple financial systems be the future? We're talking barter, we're talking gold and silver, the metals, crypto, and is there something new that we don't even know about, you know? So let's just take a look. This was an email that came in that you guys wanted me to check on and just see, you know, Maybe this is something that they're on to. So let's take a look. Will there be financial systems multiple? Will there be different ways? So let's take a look. Three of Pentacles. So let's see where this goes. Three of Pentacles, there could be something in the works about doing something like this. So let's see. Knight of Swords, action. So the Knight of Swords is an air card. So it is about action and doing it quickly. Three of Pentacles, things are in the works. Now we're getting the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy Collaborations. So also displays multiples. It displays the number two. So we have a three and a two there. Let's see what else comes there. We have the Enlightenment card. So I, I would say this is a yes, Page of Wands. So yeah, there's not going to just be one way and that's it and everyone has to learn it. And if you don't, then you're screwed. It's not going to be like that. So there's going to be options. That's what I'm getting. So I would have to agree with that one. I thought that was a great perspective. And that's what my cards are showing. There you go. For sure. So let's move forward. That was a fun one. 
Let's take a look in the comments. What do you guys have out there? <laughs> yeah, we will read a few coins before I wrap up the show. Let's see what else. Um, please, no, no uh, negative comments about Beyond Mystic or anybody else, please. I don't. I don't want that in my chat. So if I do delete you, that's pro possibly why. So just let's let's keep it very loving. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and their own beliefs and perspectives. All podcasters, we all do our very best to figure things out just like everybody. Okay, so let's let's keep it um, positive and loving. That's what we're taking into the new earth. It is not to be aggressive or put down anybody. So, yeah, I don't appreciate that. So I did delete you. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. That's not acceptable, especially on this channel. Let's see what else is coming through here. Yes, Linda Parker. Yes, he is. Uh, Michael Jaco is a good man. He is a warrior. Yeah, so thank you so much for addressing that. Let's see. This is a good one. Kim Clement said to look to the 14th of April, what does the cards have to say? And I love that there's a typo there that says, what does the cats have to say? <laughs> That's so cute. You know, our cats are very intuitive, so I bet you they already know the question, they already know the answer. So let's take a look. Ken Clement, let's take a look here. Here we go. So the 14th of April. That is just around the corner. Okay, so that's a week and two days away. Let's see. Let's see. Is there anything that's going to happen for the 14th of April, 2024? 4-14-24. Wow, and it gives us a four, four of wands. It's a celebration. It's union. It's coming together. Let's see what this is about. New beginnings, the full card. So financially speaking, now we're getting the nine of cups. I like this. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So he comes in with good news. Good news that we've been waiting on for a while. So with the Nine of Cups there, people are going to be very content with this news. It's some type of information coming forward. Four of Wands, the Fool card. So something's coming in. That's Aries energy with that Fool card. So it could be pretty quickly. But it's going to make people happy. Something that we've been waiting for. So is it Definitely the 14th, yes or no, asking spirit guides and all of the light, all the beings of light around. Let's see. All right, so that's what I suspected. It's not going to be on the 14th. I do think it's around the 14th, but not necessarily so because we have to pay attention to the dates. You know, we try our best. We'll throw numbers out there, some of us. And so it's just showing that it's not the 14th. But I do think that she's on to something that it's around that date. So let's ask, is it around the 14th? Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay. So the Knight of Cups in reverse. I would say with this prediction that it's a little bit closer to the end of, of April. So it's probably a little bit ways out because the Knight of Cups is a little slower in his progress. But he, he means well. So... I would say it's towards the end of April, so a little bit later. But yes, she is on to something. She is moving in the positive timeline as well. So looking good, looking good. Uh, let's see. What else is in the chat over there? I saw something else. <laughs> let's see. Yes. Uh, let's see, of the Aries, the, the people that are Aries, yes, um, and JC is one. But there's many, um, like I just said, my brother, and then we've got Lance Shuttler, an amazing Aries. So, yeah, they're very powerful. They've got such a great presence. They're very intelligent. So it's a great sign. I agree, Connie. <laughs> um, let's see what else is out there. So we're going to just keep pulling cards. I've got a few more questions from the emails we already did the debt forgiveness, jubilee, transfer of wealth. All of that is still in alignment with the new timeline for the eclipse, after the eclipse. Multiple financial systems. We got a yes. That is very likely. 
Then we have, what else do we have here? The arrest happened within a week, yes. So from the 5th to the 12th, I did a card pull at the very beginning if you missed it. But yes, I was getting a big one and it could be politician. So we will see. And then I do want to bring to your attention while we're taking a little break right here, um, arcanashores.net. So my 60 minute Zoom readings, there is a special right now. Angel number 144 is the special for 60 minute one-on-one -on -one Zoom reading. So arcanashores.net is where you're gonna wanna book that. And I have openings next week. I opened up more spots so you guys can get in. So you'll go to readings with Kristen on my website and go to general tarot readings. And that's where I have slashed the old price to an angel number 144 for a whole hour. And you can ask anything you want. Um, right now, it's been pretty popular since I've been doing the shows on all the states and things going on like that. But also drawing attention into past lives and where your soul belongs. Where does your soul long to be, long to live? You know, a lot of us are returning back home to our past life terrain, where we were in past lives. So it's very interesting to look into that. So... That's a real popular one right now with the Zoom readings, our past lives and where your soul is calling you. So very cool. But yeah, let's take a look in the chat. It looks like some more have come in. April 28th is the 15th Julian, then 119th day. Thank you for that. Thank you for addressing that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Okay. The daily life. Okay, so. Uh, Ishmael was on last night with us here at Arcana Shores. So we were talking, and no, it's not going to be like, so I'm just setting it straight now. We just said this last night. There's no rapture. No one's disappearing. It's not like the vanishing and people just gone, okay? So it's not like that. This is a consciousness. This is a timeline shift of consciousness. Some will want to stay comfortable where they are. Ment I'm talking consciously, mentally. You have to enter consciously the 5D to enter the 5D timeline. So just like we were seeing in some of the cards with some of the uh, mess. I'm going to call the truthers messengers now because that's what they are. <laughs> I, I don't like the word truthers. Uh, messengers. So the messengers that we have pulled cards on. We have seen transformation. I saw change of perspective. So we're already seeing the consciousness shift. Those that are going towards the new timeline, positive timeline, they're going 5D consciousness. They're going that direction. So that's what's happening. You know, no one's like physically disappearing. Okay. So I just want to set that one straight. <laughs> uh, but here we go. Can you pull cards on what daily life will look like after the Monday eclipse, the April 8th eclipse? So let's clean up my table here. And then let's pull some cards. This is a good question. We have the moon card. So, yeah, some people are going to feel emotional. All right. So, the daily life. Here we go. We have the nine of swords in reverse. The eight of pentacles. There's going to be more motivation, it looks like. That's good. Knight of cups. Beautiful energy. More paying attention to taking care of yourself, your health. Health is wealth. So that's what I'm getting to. Um, but then the moon card. So emotions, people are going to be overthinking a little bit. So daily life is paying more attention to the self is what I'm getting from this. So the perspectives are going to change. But you're going to be thinking about maybe in a more dominant, positive way about your health and well-being. And things are going to just... You're going to be so turned off to certain things. Um, old habits. I think I think habits are going to be easier now to break. That's what I think is shifting as well. The 5D consciousness just automatically. And your appetite could change too. We talked about that last night. But things are just not going to sound as, as cool anymore. And it's going to be a good thing because those things weren't good for you anyway, if that makes sense. So your, your whole logic is going to shift. Um, but daily life itself, it's not going to be like, no, it's not going to, something major is not, it's not the rapture, okay? <laughs> it's more mental, it's more 
consciousness is shifting. Timeline, and that's how timelines shift. So there you go. Um, Lisa Victoria, I love that question. That's very cute. How long before we come back on Lyra? Like Lisa wants to go back to Lyra like now. <laughs> so I know, right? It's a great question. Let's just see what the cards show. <laughs> now connection to Lyra is already possible. We already have connection. Those that really take channeling seriously and really do it, you can connect. And I know Lisa Victoria, you do. So let's take a look on Lyra. I'm just going to do an energy pull. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So it looks like they're helping us, those of Lyra, the Lyran star seeds. And then we've got the High Priestess, Seven of Swords. They're moving things around. They're trying to balance humanity. So direction, though, is that compass in the Wheel of Fortune. Financial as well. But I'm thinking this is more of the consciousness. The Lyrans are here. They are among us. Some of you are Lyran. Um, but yeah, they're among us. They're helping. But I know that there's a lot of galactics that are helping the financial system in many ways that we are not even aware of. We can't even comprehend at this time. But yes, I know that they are definitely taking action to help people and help the financial system move along. And the dark to be revealed faster. We need that to happen. But I do believe that within this week, we are going to see some arrest of some sort. All right, guys, I want to say thank you all for being here so much. You guys are always here and very supportive. So I appreciate all of you. We will do this again. I thought this was pretty fun. So leave your comments down below and let me know. Let me know if you guys would like to uh, pull on others again. I think it's fun and there's no harm in it. So let me know. And uh, Roman out there, I have to address this. This is a cute question. Anybody know if I'm actually a Pisces for real? My birthday is April 12th, but if the calendar changes, mess up life, then I'm not an Aries, right? <laughs> so if we do go back to the old calendar, which we're not sure, you know, are we going to go back to the old calendar? I hope that we do you know um it would change yeah but you know what you do have a lot of you know we resonate with a lot of our what our sign is currently you know that has been it's, it's been what we've known and if it doesn't resonate then maybe you you should look into your vedic astrology actually roman take a look into your vedic astrology and just see what resonates better you know but i i do think we probably will be going back to the uh the old the old calendar and you know what that's fun because then we're not we're not really getting older there is no uh age we don't really have a a number so i think i'd be a lot younger right so technically it was my birthday on on the second technically if we're gonna play that game <laughs> so there you go i'm really an aries huh maybe maybe you never know all right guys I am going to head out, but thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you all, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys. Um, and also, before I go, sorry. So, arcanashores.net to book a reading, yes, and I have to share screen. Reminder, if you guys would like to come to Florida, the Quantum Summit is happening June 8th and June 9th. I would love to see and meet you guys in person. I will be pulling cards in person, too. So just short ones, like mini readings will be happening on the break times. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So yeah, if you guys would like to come on down, check it out. QFS1776.com, quantumsummit.com. Go there as well. All right, guys, you have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday morning. Bye.